tis the season, my friends. Trimming trees. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to do that one still. Now where do you want the bird house? <laughs> you find its new home. Well, that'll blow right off. It's got to be hooked somehow. It's going off now. Very good. I need to fill the hummingbird feeders. They are not pleased with my antics. Nate just made this corn on the cob. It smells so good, my friends. Okay, so you cut them into pieces. Yep. Then you boiled it for five, ten minutes? Just till it boiled up. You just want to start cooking it and add a little bit of moisture to it so it doesn't burn in the air fryer easily. Oh, but it okay. didn't really cook it that long. You could eat it right now. It'd be a little undercooked. Okay, so a little undercooked but boiled. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to air fry it. Yes. And then make all crispy and good. But you put on the bottom here when you pulled it out of the water. Mm -hmm. um, look at that. Oh, heck yeah, man. Kind of an herb, butter, olive oil toppings. Yes. Okay. This garlic herb seasoning, this label, this was technically, and this is all I have left, um, it was like that citrusy garlic uh, mm -hmm. from Trader Joe's, but they don't have it anymore. I don't know. Anyway. It's very strong. Yeah. A little bit of that goes a long way. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pop them in the air fryer. All right, so we're just going to take these. I already preheated this. Okay. That's why it's sizzling. I never preheat on the air fryer. You're supposed to, silly. I, I never do. So your stuff isn't soggy. I never do. Right. You know I ain't got that kind of time. Okay, so we're doing batches. We're doing batches. I know not over because I want it to fry. And we don't know how long entirely. I'm doing 400 and then I'll just check on it as we go. Okay. Okay, so eight minutes at 400. Eight minutes at 400. That looks good. Now these three back here have truffle oil, the other ones <gasps> don't. Okay, I'm going in. Oh my god, that oil. That truff oil, my friends, is so good. Yes, very delicious, thank you. Nate's doing his own meal prep for tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Easy on this thing, and it's, it's not 110 degrees, it's not miserable to do it. Right. <laughs> Tofu and the cauliflower stir fry from Trader Joe's. Yep. Simple, simple. I'm gonna show you guys that uh, I have a picture from Saturday. This plant was full. That's wild. That is crazy. It's completely eaten by these little savages. Do you see them? There's six. Do you spy six on this plant? Which is crazy, unless we missed one even. One, two, okay. It's crazy. Right, so one, one, hey bud. Two, two three. three. There's one on the bottom down there too. Where? Oh, four. four. Uh huh. Five in the middle. Five. five. We saw six though, didn't we? Thought there was six too. Three, They're so camouflaged. Four. Five. They are. So there's four from this guy down, and then there's five. five. Maybe we only saw five. We Maybe. counted one twice. Crazy. 
And it's funny when you come over here, they don't move. They don't right move when you come over. Yeah, they're like moving, moving fast, but then yeah, they'll totally stop. That's crazy, man. Well, that was my jalapeno plant. Did it from one jalapeno seed. It was full. It was lush. I never got a jalapeno. Do you see the blooms? They're leaving them though, so far. Yeah, say goodbye. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Austin again. So we're in the middle of a terrible thunderstorm and I'm just getting ready to go to school, but yeah, it's raining quite good. There's another airplane. I would not want to be in that plane right now or anytime, but you know. Yeah. And also you're terrified of planes. Oh yeah. You don't like heights. Mm -mm. That's your biggest fear. It's no good. Yeah. Interesting. And now you would never know. Three hours later. <laughs> I am actually going to go meet Nate for lunch. Get a workout in. Meet him there. Why not? Just made a batch here of the spicy sofritas. I'm letting it cool before I put the lids on and stuff. But this is, I mentioned this a few weeks ago, but Nate's having like a potluck at work tomorrow. And so this is what he requested for bringing with him tomorrow. And I was like, done. So I'm actually hoping that many people won't be intimidated. I did make a little label here, kind of showing mostly like, I'll just tape it on the lid, but like um, mostly what's in it anyway. And then just put has coconut and soy just in case but i'm hoping that people will that aren't vegan he does have a few employees who are but we'll try it you know don't be intimidated by tofu this is our like all-time favorite homemade recipe we make it so often as you guys know um again i have this uh, recipe on my website. I'll link it in the description for you guys. Please, please try it. You will not be disappointed. I swear, especially if you're a little bit intimidated by tofu. It's people just have this idea that, you know, it's not good or it doesn't taste like anything. And I agree that it doesn't taste like anything. So you got to make it taste like something. And when you nail a sauce, there it is. <laughs> I'm just saying, but I'm hoping he can give us some feedback of like, what do people think? Is it too spicy? Is it just right? Is it need to be spicier? Uh, is it too much? Is the texture good? What do they think? You know, so I'll keep you posted. <laughs> and then brown rice I just made too. It looks pretty good. I feel like I've made brown rice a little bit better. I'm telling you, sometimes it's flawless. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> and my favorite way to have it actually is you take brown rice or any kind of rice. Uh, you can also do this in burritos. Like this is just kind of like the go-to here. But I mean, this is just the filling. Do whatever you want. Put it on nachos, like on chips. Put it, um, I, I don't know, wherever. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to do the rice first, do a, a base of the rice, add this on top, and then the vegan sour cream from uh, Trader Joe's, which I actually do have and he can take with him if he wants tomorrow. But I don't know with like all the food that they're going to have, like is are people going to really, you know, know to pair it up that way? You know what I mean? So we'll see, but it's in there and it's not open, so he can take it. Um, but yeah, put that on top. I'm just telling you for you at home. <laughs> and then I like to put some fresh lime over all of it because I love lime juice. So that's what we got here. Little containers, by the way. I think my mom brought them one time when they came to visit, I think. And she brought like desserts and stuff. And uh, they're little Betty Crocker containers. And uh, I think they were from the dollar store. So simple. If they don't return, that is okay. Actually, I prefer that they don't. Then I don't have to clean them. It's perfect. So the kiddo's on his way home from school right now, and Nate's just stealing stuff from work, bringing it home. No, I'm kidding. Well, it is from work, but <laughs> can you believe that they, like, that's how it works, though, is, like, when stores are done with certain things, like, they just literally throw them away. And I mean, I guess that's what happens, but he's like, no, I kind of want this one. <laughs> so he uh, brought this home. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it's really nice. I want to show you this shake idea. So I shared this last week uh, with you guys on my vlog of trying this for the first time. And my feedback is just a real quick recap. I'm 
really, really enjoying it myself, but it is definitely not on the sweet side. It's just a vanilla flavored uh, protein powder, but the macros are killer on it, my friends. You guys know I love the vitamins. I've taken them for years and years, but look at that. That's pretty amazing. It is. But anyway, I'm making this at night and I really like my coffee combo, but being that it's night, I'm going to change it up and here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make this vanilla shake with basically thin mints in it. I used to do this so much, but I've just gotten kind of on my kick of the coffee one. But anyway, so we've got the almond milk. We're going to use one frozen banana, one scoop of the protein here, and then my friends, this new granola from uh, Trader Joe's. It's phenomenal. It is so good. And I'll show you what I do. I put it like at the bottom of the cup and then on top too, because you know, you have to have a treat to start and a treat to finish. Mm -hmm. And then in here, I, I just tossed the box actually, but it's the Back to Nature brand uh, fudge mint cookies. Basically, I always tell you guys that they're like Thin Mints, Girl Scout Thin Mints. They're so good. Let me open them. Yum, yum, yum. Actually, I have these in the cabinet and they're not melted or anything, but I like to put these actually in the fridge. I think that they store best in there and I think they taste best. But anyway, for the sake of this, I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to put them in here. But the trick is you got to blend all this first, like really, really good, nice and smooth, and then just add these at the end and then just like pulse the blender a couple times because you still want some good chunks. You know what I'm saying? Or do you do whatever? I can't tell you what to do, but <laughs> that's what I do. Okay, let me put these in here. By the way, one of you told me to look into using like the reusable uh, Ziploc type storage container bag things. I'm totally down. And in fact, I saw that they do have them at Costco. I cannot remember the brand off the top of my head, but that is something that I will totally look into doing soon i do have a good amount of these we don't use it all that often but you know i think it's a better way just to like cut back anyway just saying oh by the way the ice machine i mentioned that too last week that I'm put on milk we're supposed to be getting a new one i'm really really looking forward to it i think it might even come before this video goes up that's the ice machine right now going off by the way but um I want to give it a little bit of time, like using it, but so I can really like share it with you, my thoughts of it, you know, not just like an unboxing, but actually using it, you know, so we'll see, but I'm excited about it. I'm telling you, this protein smells like shortbread cookie, but it's not sweet. It's not, it has good vanilla flavor, but it's not sweet. So it just depends what you're looking for. But for me, I really like it. Okay. You know what it kind of reminds me of? The Garden of Life protein powder. I haven't had that in a very long time, but I remember I used to, and it's very, very similar. And now we blend, super simple. Cookies and cream, but with a mint twist. Just a light one. But I'm telling you, if you like Girl Scout cookies, you will love them. Look at that. And then, a little sprinkle on top. And if you had like a little bit of, um, chocolate syrup, like vegan chocolate syrup, you could have like lined the cup on the inside first and it would look all pretty. Look at it. Try it. Nom, 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 nom. Now see, I actually blended the cookie a little bit more than I normally would, but I'm into this. This looks bomb. So, <laughs> there it is.